New this morning, NBC News has learned President Biden has quietly started making moves to close the U.S. detention facility at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, ahead of marking 20 years since the 9-11 attacks. Courtney Kuby broke the story. Courtney, what can you tell us? Hey, Steph. Uh, well, with my, our colleague Carol Lee, you know, what, what we've been told is that President Biden, look, it's, it's no surprise. As candidate Biden, he, is, he said that he wanted to close the detention facility at Guantanamo Bay. But we haven't heard a whole lot about it since then. And what Carol and I fig found from reporting uh, over several weeks now is that the Biden administration is still working, actively working to try to close the, the facility, but they're try trying to do it very quietly under the radar. They're not really working with Congress yet. Their plan right now is to try to... Uh, make as many of the detainees eligible for transfer to other countries as possible, quietly move some of them out, and then begin working with Congress. Another thing that Carol and I learned is that you may remember from the previous, from the Obama administration, there was a special envoy position, both for the State Department and for the Pentagon, that were dead, the individuals who were dedicated to closing Guantanamo Bay. Well, that was something that the Biden administration, during the transition time, before he came into office, they had talked about appointing some sort of a special envoy. But as of now, after reaching out to several people and making some sort of qu quiet gestures to see if anyone would be interested in the job, and which were rebuffed, now it looks as if they're going to try to move forward without that special envoy position for now. And then once they get a bunch of the de these detainees, mo detainees moved out, then they'll try to recruit someone for that special envoy position to really try to move the process forward. This is all hopefully to be done, uh, you know, some sort of a plan to be in place before the 9-11 anniversary of this year, Steph. Courtney Kuby, thank you.